Hello everyone, it's Jordan from AutoAid. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this 2012 Hyundai Veracruz for an intermittent battery draw. According to the customer, this vehicle goes dead every couple days. Um, so it's not, uh, it's, it's not going dead every day, but they say every two or three days uh, they come out and they have to boost the vehicle. Um, we were already up looking at this vehicle uh, at another shop and uh, while I was up there the vehicle was not acting up. Uh, there was no current draw when I was uh, looking at it, so um, that's why we uh, we think it's an intermittent uh, intermittent issue. Uh, so, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our uh, scope and our voltmeter just to uh, um, so we can get a, an on-demand reading with the uh, or, or a more precise reading with the uh, voltmeter. Uh, but we're also going to hook the scope up so we can monitor it over time because it is an intermittent issue. Uh, now, we're going to be using our uh, Prova uh, amp clamp around the negative battery uh, cable, and that'll give us a uh, good current reading. Uh, so I'm going to get this stuff hooked up, and I'll see you shortly. All right, so we've got our scope hooked up here to our current probe. We also have our voltmeter hooked up, and uh, as you can see, that's a pretty low reading. Um, our current probe, we have it uh, the, the scale set at um, 100 millivolts equals 1 amp, uh, so we're sitting at about... That's what 20 milliamps, thereabouts, 20 or 30 milliamps, which really is not that much, nothing to be really concerned about. So, um, we've also got it hooked up to the scope here. Uh, we've got a pretty long time base on it 50, uh, 50 milliseconds per division, and we're just going to watch it and see if anything uh, spikes over time. We're going to let it sit here for a little bit, and uh, hopefully, something happens. All right, so here we have our scope shot of the current draw on this Veracruz over time. We have each division set up for about 50 seconds per division, so we've got about 8 minutes per screen. Um, we just have a look here at where the current's sitting. Um, about 30 milliamps, same as what we were seeing on our voltmeter. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through here. Each screen is uh, 8 minutes, so... Yeah, I can see here that we, we've got just under an hour on our screen here. Um, now this little blip here, um, it's just probably the vehicle waking up for a second or, or just che checking something else um, on the vehicle like tire pressure or something like that because they will occasionally uh, wake up for a split second to check certain things. So uh, we're not too, too worried about that. It's the only time it happened the entire time and it didn't draw very much. Um, like if we go in here. Um, zoom right in on one portion here it looks like it drew about an amp for uh, this is a really rough estimate here but uh, or a really rough measurement 88 milliseconds so that's that's not going to kill a battery I mean if it's doing that every minute or so then yeah that, that would kill a battery but once once in about an hour it's not going to do much so um, now if we take a look at this whole time here we have about 20 seconds and you can see that there's a lot of gaps in between each uh, each draw there so uh, we're not too too worried about that we don't think that's the issue there so um, unfortunately there's no current draw happening here that we can see so we're gonna have to let this thing sit overnight um, actually I think we're probably gonna let it sit for two days and uh, and then recheck everything um, so we'll leave it at that for now pull this out of the shop and uh, come back in a few days All right, so the other day we saw there was no uh, there was no draw that we could really see uh, with the vehicle in the service bay. So we pulled it outside. We let it. Uh, we drove it around for a little bit. Got the battery charged up. Parked it here. This was on Wednesday. It's now Friday morning. Uh, I'm just gonna hook the voltmeter up and just I'm just gonna take a look at the battery voltage. Let's see what we got. Twelve point four, so it's it's dropped over the last couple of days. Should be a little bit higher than that. That's a little bit low, but uh, I'm just gonna check the current, see if we got a draw or anything like that. Ramp clamp out. Set it on the four amp.
and we have no current draw whatsoever either again after two days so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the keys and I'm going to flip the uh, the ignition on and we're just going to monitor battery voltage again and see if it start, starts dropping. I'm kind of suspecting we may have a bad battery in this vehicle. Um, so yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to get the key and, and flip it on and just turn some loads on and see how uh, quickly this battery starts to deplete. Okay, so we have the voltmeter hooked up to the vehicle. Now I'm just going to go inside and uh, turn the key on. And right there where the, the voltage dips, that's just me hitting the unlock button on the fob. Um, and it, you can see it dip down to under 11 volts for a split second. Uh, so now this is just me getting in the vehicle here and uh, key on with headlights on. It's reading about 11.3 volts, which is way, way too low uh, for this. So I'm thinking we've got an issue with this battery. Um, so next what I think we're going to do is hook the scope up to the battery and just monitor voltage with the vehicle cranking and see how, uh, how far it dips down uh, when we hit it with the starter. Okay, so now we know the battery voltage drops like a stone as soon as you hit it with the... Uh, with a minor load so I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab the Pico scope on our laptop here and uh, hook it up to the battery and just uh, watch what the voltage does when we uh, hit it with the starter and we hit it with a real big load um, I'm thinking that this thing's not even gonna start this morning when we go out there because it's just if it drops that quick when you're turning the headlights on um, you can just imagine what it's gonna do when we hit it with the starter so I'm gonna get this stuff hooked up here and uh, We'll see exactly what happens. Okay, so we got our Pico scope hooked up here to our battery. Got it recording there on the screen, so. Just gonna go unlock this thing and fire it up and see if it starts. Good start. All right, well, I guess we'll have to go and uh, take a look and see what the scope says. So let's take a look at this Pico shot a little in a little more detail. Let's just zoom in on uh, where the starter hits here. Now, if we take a look at uh, how low the voltage gets when the starter first hits. Looks like it drops down to about 7.3 volts thereabouts, and that's that's pretty low. Um, but that's that's just when the when the starter first hits. So let's take a look at how uh, low it is when uh, it's actually rolling over. Uh, comes up to about 9 volts there, um, and then about 9.8 volts. So that's that's pretty low for uh, um, a cranking vehicle. So I think what's happening with this car is the, the customer's leaving it for several days and uh, over that several days the battery um, is kind of depleting itself over that time. So if they're driving it for a, a day and they come back the next day, it obviously doesn't have a, a long enough time to uh, deplete itself. Um, but the, the more time goes on, the more it depletes itself and uh, eventually would likely cause the no start. Now, unfortunately, we were not able to um, experience the uh, the dead battery or the no start. Just that the customer couldn't leave the car with us long enough for it to sit long enough. But uh, I think with the evidence that we're seeing here, um, we're pretty comfortable with uh, with calling this battery uh, as being no good. 